good one much. <laughs> Higher, much higher! Oh. That's not fair, you're bigger than me! It's not size that counts, it's skill! Ow! Tuck! Morning. Why not? No, thank you, brother. Brother? Don't call me that. I'm just Tuck. Fat flyer, so. Wine, John. Have a drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me again. How do you do that? Sapere alto. Ah, you have the Latin. A little. Errere, descriere, decipre, et malin, et torpe, tusmus. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, come on, then, we'll... Amor. Winket. Omnia. Amor, winket, omnia. Don't you believe it? What's that? Love conquers all things. Yeah, well, I said it was made, didn't I? What are we going to do about Much and Will? What can we do? Well, it's all the cross of St. Sidicus. St. Who? Sidicus. A monk martyred at the time of the conquest. He spoke out against King William. A Norman soldier stoned him to death outside the abbey. They say his cross has the powers to heal. That's why Croxton's become a place of pilgrimage. How could an old cross heal anyone? Depends if you believe in it, doesn't it? It's a pact. What's that? Uh, an agreement, a pledge, written from right to left and with the victim's mark in blood. They all had one in a little bag around their necks. Percurimus fodus com mort et inferno feximus pactum. What's that mean? It's from Isaiah, and it means we have signed a treaty with death, and with hell we have a pact. These beauties gave themselves to the devil. So did James. Well, why is that? Perhaps they were forced to. What if they were? Pacts with the devil aren't legally binding. Tell that to James. Look, who's behind all oh, this? Oh, Satan, Lucifer, the evil one, whatever you want to call him. He's always on the lookout. Not just for souls, but for bodies. Bodies? Aye, he needs them to clothe himself to become the Antichrist. Well, that's what they told me in the monastery. Look, you'll believe anything, won't you? No, but it's better than believing nothing. Have you seen anything? Rabbits, sheep, goats, and you. There are not any demons, are there? Well, you're not. It's too cold for demons. If I was a demon, I'd be by the fire. So don't worry.
Circle, circle! Same as ever. I never thought I'd see it again. I was 17 when I first came here, Marion. You wouldn't have recognized me then. I was before this. And this. Eleven years I spent in there. First as a novice, then as a cloistered monk. Eleven years. The devil sent an apparition to haunt me. Or is it Brother Tuck? You look well, Father. I am well. And all the better for having seen the back of you. What impertinence brings you here, Brother Tuck? Late for lords, asleep through vespers? For 11 years I put up with it, hoping and praying that you'd settle in your vacation. And when you grew bored and restless, I procured you a first-class commission as chaplain to the Sheriff of Nottingham. And how did you show your gratitude? You deserted your post, went and joined a band of cutthroats in the forest. And who is this woman? I'm one of those cutthroats, Father. Are you? Are you indeed? Father. Brother. The library. Library? So that's what you come here for, is it? The library? I seem to remember the warming house and the kitchen were more to your taste. Tuck, I'm not going to eat you. You're as hopeless as you ever were. But I miss you. We all do. I dare say you've been doing some good in your own way. Come, bring the cutthroat in. Let us eat and tell me what it is you need to know. There are brothers. Ah. There you see the wages of dissipation. Come and visit us again, Brother Tuck. Satan may have laid claim to your body. Perhaps there's still hope for your soul. Thank you, Father. Don't thank me. Just go, before your example undermines all our faith. <laughs> Wickham. Marry? It's the first I've heard of it. 
Haven't even read the bands. Then call them now, Tuck. Now? Are you really getting wet? Well, that's what he said, isn't it? Call the bands, Tuck. Let it be known that Robin of Sherwood and Marion of Leaford are to be married in Wickham tonight. If there's any man with any just cause for a lesson...